Before we check out the entire Tennessee Titans 53-man initial roster, along with all of the roster cuts that were made, shout out your city for me. Let me know where you are watching from. I want to know if it's from Germantown, Tennessee, all the way to Johnson City. Let me know where you are watching from down in the comment section below. Welcome into Titans Today by Chat Sports. Matthew Peterson filming from a Chat Sports closet because it is a pretty chaotic day today across the NFL with all the roster cuts being made. But I wanted to make sure the good folks back in the volunteer state are staying up to date on the latest Titans roster moves, news, and all that good stuff. So before we look at the new updated 53-man depth chart, I thought it would be important to familiarize everyone watching with all of the roster cuts slash moves made by John Robinson and Mike Vrabel. So let's jump into it. Starting with some of the more notable names like Logan Woodside, who was beat out by Malik Willis for that backup QB job. Not too surprising right there. Trenton Cannon, probably a bit of a disappointment this offseason and into preseason, along with Des Fitzpatrick, Mason Kinsey, Reggie, Reggie Roberson, some other notable names out there like Cody Hollister. Now, I will preface with just because some of these guys have been cut or moved on from does not mean that their days with the Titans are over with. Look for the Titans to bring back a lot of these guys for their practice squad. Now, moving on to some other names that were moved on from, at least for the time being, on the offensive line, Willie Wright, Xavier Newman, Jordan Roos, some of the more notable names out there, for example, like Jack Gibbons and Joe Jones. Those are some guys that I know we were looking at throughout this entire preseason for those linebacker position battle because that was one position group along with defensive line. Merchantson, a more notable and familiar name with Titans fans that ultimately Robinson and Vrabel decide to cut ties with at least for the time being and go a younger route. Last nine names right here, all in all, 29 roster moves to get down to 53, man. Theo Jackson, probably one of the bigger names jumping out if we have any fellow Vols fans out there. VFL right here, myself, Matthew Peterson. I know Theo quite well from his days back at Rocky Top. The Titans moved on from him after drafting him in round six. Look for him to come back on the practice squad. And then Brett Kern, right, the most and biggest name on this list right here. Ultimately, the Titans kind of want to reset the clock a little bit at the punter position. And what about Tyree Gillespie? The safety that they just traded from the Las Vegas Raiders for like a week ago? Yeah, he is done already. Now, let's look at the depth chart here for the Titans here. Ryan Tannehill and Malik Willis are your two quarterbacks. I suspect Logan Woodside will come back on the practice squad, but for now, it's a two QB room. Let's move on to the running back depth chart here. We had obvious names like Derrick Henry. And then after that, nothing was a guarantee. Dontrell Hilliard, Hassan Haskins, a rookie out of Michigan. They were pretty much safe to make this roster, but now they are on for sure. And then Joey Chestnut, as I like to call him, a.k.a. Julius Chestnut, the UDFA out of Sacred Heart, who has been sort of the training camp star, right, every year. For example, he's the Hard Knocks guy, I like to call him. Where if Hard Knocks was with the Titans this year, everyone would have fallen in love with this guy. Happy to see him earn a roster spot after battling all preseason long. And then you got Torrey Carter, who will serve as your fullback. Robert Woods, Traylon Burks were no doubters. Uh, Westbrook Akeen, also a no doubter. Kyle Phillips and McMath rounding out the wide receiver room right here. Now, this is not a position group that I personally am all that confident in because Robert Woods is coming off a torn ACL. Traylon Burks is a rookie with, sure, a lot of hopes and optimism, but nevertheless still a rookie. So I want you guys to do your best here and predict who will lead the Tennessee Titans in receiving yards this season. You want to go with Robert Woods, who looks like he's on schedule to return week one after playing in week three of the preseason, or is it going to be the rookie, Traylon Burks? Let me know who you're thinking down below. Let's move on here to the tight end room here. Austin Hooper, 
the free agent signing from the Cleveland Browns. He is your starting tight end with Jeff Swaim. Those are not two surprising moves made right there by Robinson. So not all that surprised by what we have seen so far. All right, moving along here onto the offensive line depth chart. A lot of hogs up front that have been doing some great stuff. Taylor Luan, Aaron Brewer, Ben Jones, Nate Davis, Nicholas Petit Friere, and Dalen Radons are gonna be or Dylan, excuse me, Radons are going to be battling for that starting right tackle job right there. Now there was some good position battles at the offensive line position. Um, one that really jumped out to me, Corey Levin. Now he can be pretty versatile for you. He's going to be the backup center for Ben Jones, but he can also move across the offensive line. And then you've got the player who you just traded for, Daly, right from the Carolina Panthers last night. He also makes this 53-man roster. Now, when the Titans make roster moves, news, rumors, trades, I mean, you guys were with me in my kitchen last night, for crying out loud, breaking down the latest Tennessee Titans trades. So make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you're looking for a Titans YouTube channel for the entire 2022 season and beyond, make sure you go ahead and click the subscribe button to get locked in for the best Titans news and rumors coverage. Let's check out the defensive line now because this was going to be a fun room to try and predict where it would go outside of the three obvious names on screen. Uh, uh, at the end of the day, Naquan Jones... Grew up in my neck of the woods, coming out of Michigan State, but from the Chicagoland area. He makes a spot on this roster. He's had some good flashes for the Titans here and there. Happy to see him find a home on this Titans depth chart. Moving on here, what about the linebackers? Because this was going to be another interesting position battle to keep an eye on. And the Titans had some obvious locks, but then they had some tough calls to make. And they stick with players like Dylan Cole and Chance Campbell over some other guys, for example, like Jack Gibbons. So that is the Tennessee Titans linebacker room as it stands right now. There will be some ma moves made by Robinson and Vrabel as injuries happen and players get moved to IR and waiver wire pickups are made. But for now, that is the initial 53-man roster in the linebacker room. Before we round out the rest of today's show with the remaining depth charts, I want to give you guys a quick heads up that Fanatics has a great deal for everyone back in Volunteer State land with a two-shirt combo deal. What does that mean? You don't get one, two, one shirt. You get two shirts. When you go to chatsports.com slash Titans combo, it's hot right now in Nashville. Make sure you are staying cool while also repping some Titans gear Get that awesome shirt. I'll put that link for everyone in the comments and the description of today's show. On to the defensive back room here. Christian Full. I mean, those were a lot of obvious names. Kevin Byart, right? Amani Hooker, Caleb Farley. Nothing too surprising. You had some good position battles after that. But all in all, this is going to be one of the more stronger units for the Titans this upcoming season. And then finally, the special teams unit. Good old Fat Randy, Ryan Stonehouse, the new punter in Nashville, and then the longtime vet Morgan Cox handling the long snapping duties. And that right there is the Tennessee Titans 53-man roster. I appreciate all of you guys for tuning in, joining us from the closet of chat sports as we try to get Tennessee Titans today some more subscribers so we don't have to film from the dungeon of our office, but rather we get the nice prime studio space. So make sure you go ahead and subscribe so that we can get out of here and get under the big lights of our big studios here at Chat Sports. Mm -hmm.